let's look at Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Here we have x and y values for 15 observations. The first step is to find the mean for x and y values. So you do that by using the formula is equal to average open bracket. You select all the x values, close bracket and press enter. Do the same for calculating the mean of y. Now we are going to calculate the dispersion of x and y values from their corresponding mean values. Let's denote the dispersion of x values from their mean by a lowercase x and the dispersion of y values from their mean with the lowercase y. So lowercase x is equal to x minus x bar. Here x bar is the mean of x and y is equal to y minus y bar. Here y bar is the mean of y. Now to calculate the dispersion of x values from the mean, you find the difference between every x value and the mean of x. Click the first x value minus the mean of x which is 36 here and don't forget to pin down the x bar value. Do the same for finding out the dispersion of y values from the mean of y. The next step is to find out x square and y square. Here, make sure you square the lowercase x and y values. And finally, we need to find out x, y for which you multiply x and y values. This is also the lowercase x and y values. And finally, you total all the values. So the sum of small x and small y, they should be 0. And the sum of x square, y square and x, y will be used in our formula to calculate the Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So this is the formula that we use for calculating it. Let's apply each of the values to the formula. So r is equal to sigma xy by square root of sigma x square into sigma y square. So our sigma xy is 153, sigma x square is 9910 and sigma y square is 140.4. Now let's apply that to the formula. R is equal to select sigma xy divided by open bracket. For square root, to calculate the square root, the formula in Excel is SQRT. So SQRT open bracket, select sigma x square value multiplied by sigma y square and pay attention to the number of brackets that you insert. So the calculated Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is 0.13. The correlation values always range between minus 1 and plus 1. If it's closer to 0, it means that there's low correlation. If it's closer to 1, it means that there's high correlation. If it's positive, it means that the relationship between x and y is positive. That is, if x increases, y also increases and vice versa. And if the value is negative, then it means that the relationship between x and y is indirect, meaning that when x increases, y decreases and vice versa. So when we say r is equal to 0.13, it means that there is low correlation 
between the x and y values in our example and the relationship is positive. 